And we are on Cricket Pundit and 1996 World Cup winning coach Dav Watmore weighs in on this controversy surrounding the outfield in Dharamshala with Vion Sports Editor Digvijay Singh Deo. Take a listen. Josh Butler's question if playing on an outfield like the one we saw for that uh, Bangladesh-Afghanistan game is compromising the integrity of the game. Mm. Very strong words. Very strong words and that'll cause a few headlines I would have thought. And it's not the sort of headlines ICC would appreciate and want in this tournament. Um, but it, and also for us watching it from an, uh, on television it's hard to gauge the you know the, the, the depth of disrepair that outfield is but it obviously must be some concern and um, when you've got a, a really it's good patchy. it's patchy it's it's got a sandy base yeah. and because it's right yeah. up there in the mountains there, there have been issues because i think earlier this year a test match got pulled out of there as well india australia yeah well if you've got a, a really good player like ben stokes opting not to play because of the potential injury then that's not a good thing you know i was having him in my team but now it looks like he may not play for fear of, uh, you know, aggravating that knee again. So uh, not just him, there's a few others. And I can recall also vividly Simon Jones at the, um, at the Gabba when that was relayed, a lot of sand. He slid, stuck his knee in the, in the ground and it was really career threatening and he didn't really play much after that. Yeah, so the same thing happened with Mujibur Rahman in that game and Jonathan yes. Trott wasn't too happy. Let's look at the ICC statement because uh, after that... Uh, game, the outfield came in for criticism and this is how the ICC has responded. Let's look at this. They are saying that the process for assessing the condition of the pitch and outfield lies with the match officials under the ICC pitch and outfield monitoring process. Now, they are also saying that the outfield at Dharamshala was rated as average after the Afghanistan-Bangladesh match. And additionally, the ICC's independent pitch consultant, that's Andy Atkinson, He's taken a look at the outfield and he's comfortable with the conditions as is Javagal Srinath who's the match referee for that game coming up on Tuesday. Dev, ultimately when you're playing a game, it's a World Cup game, you want to go full throttle. But what we are seeing is players, both I mean, England are saying, we'll tell the players, you know what, be careful around this outfield, don't dive mm. all the time, and just take it easy. That's a problem because does that sort of take away from the spectacle if you're escorting the ball to the boundary and you're not being able to put in that dive? Surely, I, you know, for me, um, you know, you need to give your absolute everything when you're playing in a World Cup match. And uh, if you're being asked to be careful about uh, diving, but more, of, more so the sliding bit where you actually, you know, create the figure four with your legs and you actually make contact with the ground with your knee and if it's a decent hard enough surface you'll slide into it but if that's not going to happen and then s players instinctively do that you know even though you've given a, dis a distinct instruction be careful don't do it instinctively you, you might do that and you, you could hurt it yourself. It comes down to muscle memory. That's right yeah so it's not it seems like it's a bit of a difference of opinion there.